A sobering statistic. 31 homicides in Portland so far this year, and today police released the names of two more victims. The first victim gunned down more than two weeks ago on April 10th near Southwest 12th and Clay. And police say 22-year-old Gabrielle Dozier was shot by Kirk Nichols. He's now facing second-degree murder. Let's get to our Jenny Young now, who got the chance to speak with Gabrielle's mother and grandmother. Jenny, you're sharing their heartbreaking message tonight. What can you tell us? They say that this person needed help, tried to get help, but fell through the cracks. I've known for a long time that I was probably going to lose my Gabby girl, but I really didn't expect it to be the murder. On the phone with Mindy Dozier, you can hear the pain in her voice, but you also get a sense of her practicality. They were always telling jokes, trying to lift people up, trying to be there for people. Just always lived a life of service when they were at their best, you know, when they weren't lost in their addiction or their mental illness. Mindy's child, Gabrielle Lynn Dozier, used them, they pronouns and was known to family and friends as Breeze. Two weeks ago, the 22-year-old was shot to death at an apartment complex near Southwest 12th and Clay. Portland homicide detectives say 36-year-old Kirk Michaels pulled the trigger. Investigators say on April 10th, Michaels and two women were smoking meth at his apartment. At some point, the group got into an argument. Detectives say Michaels pistol whipped one woman in the head and then shot Gabrielle in the chest. They say he then called 911 saying he shot someone when they broke into his house. Gabrielle died on the way to the hospital. Mindy recalls the day a detective told her the news. And I said, please no, because I knew as soon as he said I'm detective, you know, he said his name, I knew, I knew. My baby was dead. Mindy tells us Gabrielle lived in affordable housing in downtown Portland and tried for a long time to recover from substance abuse, checking themselves into rehab what seemed like over and over again. And then it cycled right back out, like quick, quick, like within a day or two. Mindy believes it was mental illness and substance abuse that ultimately led to Gabrielle's tragic and untimely death. She says things would have turned out much different for her only child had they gotten a hold of desperately needed resources. I'm angry that she didn't get the help she needed, but the system's not set up to help addicts or mentally ill people. It's, it's set up to manage them. We found out that Kirk Michaels was convicted of a felony in Florida back in 2018. Now, he did not receive bond on that second degree murder charge and his next court hearing that is on May 23rd. We will, of course, let you know what happens. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.